Even as Uganda continues to deal with absorption-related challenges on donor and taxpayer-funded projects, the African Development Bank has today endorsed $119 million or approximately 428 billion shillings for Uganda's transport infrastructure. The project will benefit approximately 1.4 million people living in the project zone of influence area, local and regional traders and transporters using the project road. The project will reduce travel time and transport cost and will also reduce vehicle accidents. Lake Victoria has the largest freshwater fisheries in Africa, catching 800,000 to a million metric tons of fish annually, worth an estimated $600 million at the landing point and $250 million in exports. Works and Transport Minister Ntege Azuba says that the $14 million funding for the Lake Victoria Maritime Communication Transport Project would save 5,000 of lives lost each year in the water body. We are going to have um, 12 stations. These 12 stations is where we'll have search and rescue operation and they'll be equipped with boats. These boats will have uh, facilities uh, for devices for calling. They'll be installed on the boats and they'll be used for location of, uh, with, with very high precision. The system will be first interface with video. And in order to ease the perpetual challenges of land acquisition and implementation of such infrastructure projects, the Uganda National Roads Authority says that 73 kilometer Kapchora Swam Road to be funded through ADB's $105 million will move with speed. Our agreement with the bank is that we would give at least 30% of the land uh, at the time of commencement. We have currently acquired, I believe, 10 uh, paid off 10 kilometers, 15 are in the process of, of payment. This funding will come as good news to residents of the Sebe region who have had transport challenges for decades. They have been accessing the neighboring districts through Kenya. The Minister of Finance and Planning has also pledged to the development partner that the two cross-border regional projects will deliver economic benefits. We will also not compromise on issues of accountability and reporting. I therefore urge the Ministry of Works and Transport and Uganda National Roads Authority and all the other stakeholders to ensure timely and speedy implementation in order to enable the country to realize the benefits of this project. Reina Ojun, NTV Weekend Edition.